All right, I'm gonna just record this video to give general directions for uh, low fat shopping. In the event that somebody is shopping for me, or I don't know, um, what are the low fat items that you can find in shoe for sale? Um, so let's see. All right, are we in the supermarket section? We're in the supermarket section. Okay, so basically, I'm just gonna start work my way around this the virtual supermarket here. Um, greens are are greens and produce are are golden. These are great. So these are what I stock up on because I'm eating a lot of salads currently. Probably will be for the foreseeable future. The only things that are notably not low fat, and because I'm saying this because they're listed here, is avocados are really high in fat. And almost without exception, seeds are high in fat, except for like one or two very obscure seeds that you will not find on supermarket shelves. Uh, they're high, by and large high fat items. So let's just say if you look at these avocados, data I'm recording this on, um, they have the nutritional info. So not on all products. So in, for instance, this fresh product, they don't have it. So um, if it, it just know that avocados are high fat, most of them um, will have it listed though. So that's the first thing is, you know, my, my kind of go-tos in the produce section are, because uh, these are great for salads, cucumbers, tomatoes, uh, pep, bell peppers. Lemons are great because they add flavor to salads without add, contributing fat. Uh, so yeah, these are kind of my, the things I, uh, I have. Now let's look at uh, the dairy section. So dairy is a tricky old one because uh, Certain dairy, I have not found yet uh, cheese that is so low fat. The official definition of low fat is according to the Health UK, which is a, a official cholesterol lowering recommendation, people, charity, uh, and most reputable dietary authorities. Low fat equals three grams or less per 100 grams of fat. And for liquids, 1.5. I think the reason it's lower for liquids is because um, you, you'll have more volume of them. So three and 1.5 are the two magic numbers. Um, so looking at like, for instance, um, Gvinot. So these, Gvinot and Huvim, um, this is not a category I've had much success with in finding stuff that's actually low fat. So you can see here that it's 28%, 29%. So these are easy because they just list the fat content right up front. But let's just take one where that's not the case. So like this cheese here. So the the hint that it's not low fat is that it's got the the mandate, government mandated label, Shuman Ravai Beramat Kavoha, and it's also it says here twenty one percent fat. So cheese is like the exception that the fat exact fat content is like listed front and center on the label. Uh, not the case obviously for most products. So uh, these cheeses I've not yet found the closest I found. I have found one actually kind of like imitation hard hard cheese that was ten percent. No, it was 5%, but it was I really hated it. It was really not good. The cheese that I'm enjoying currently, I'm having a cheese renaissance, is uh, is white cheese. So I'm just going to see where it is here. Uh, do, 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 do. So you can see that there's a 5% Bulgari. So 5% is very easy to find, I have found. Um, but that's not low fat because the limit's three. So I've not found three or lower in uh, in like feta or Bulgari, um, et cetera, unfortunately. 16, you can see how you can see how widely the fat percentage of cheese varies. So we have here 5%, here 16%. We just had like 30% in the hard cheeses. Even a Bulgari, which you might think of as a healthier cheese, it does go up to 24%, which is way, way beyond the 3% limit. So there are both plenty of 5% options and plenty of options that are far out of that limit. So yeah, I have to kind of buy with this in mind. So um, I've been buying 5% cheeses basically um, from this, a few things. So Labna is also something I found that there are a decent amount of 5% products in, even though, as I said, that is itself not ideal. And uh, what else have I found? So yeah, mostly feta, labne, and yogurt. So yogurt um, is, and milk, There's all we can also find, there is not skim milk, but there is low milk here. 
Uh, so we can find Madaf Gvinot, and we have Gvinot Meadnia. Uh, um, a butter I've not I've not found in Israel so far a butter substitute like a low 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 type, type product. Ah, here we go. Labna five percent. So I don't even need to search for it. So yeah, this is the Shufersal product. They do a five percent Labna. There's a few five percent Labnas on this on the shelf, and those are also great because they're a spread you can have for breakfast and for you know because hummus is unfortunately out. Um, so it's good to have stuff like this to replace it with. So if we go to Mutsure uh, Halav, let's just stay in the dairy section for just one more, a, a few more seconds. Within milk, so there's the 1% milk is the lowest I believe that exists in Israel. So that's what I mean buying. Uh, 1% is, is, is fine. It technically is low fat. As I said, it's 1.5 in 1.5 per 100 grams. You can see uh achim to zon taim 100 grams so um the this is one percent milk so that's actually considered fine um you will find skin milk at 0 0.6 in some other countries uh but not here so um so that's the product i go for you could you could also see there was 1.5 there so i'd go, I'd go for the one percent um let's just see what else we can find here if we can find where is yogurt 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 must be listed somewhere here and i'm just not seeing it ah here we go right in front of me yogurt free slash diet so yogurt's an abundant category of low fat in fact th this is the best part of the dairy section is the yogurt section uh there's more fat free and zero percent yogurts and there are uh cheeses uh, of any variety so there's really a lot of options here. So you can see there's Greek yogurt. Now the, the a common thing about the low fat diet is people cut down fat only to really drastically increase their sugar consumption, which is not healthy. Therefore I'm trying to avoid that. So I'm like avoiding stuff like this, these kind of, you know, art, art, artificially sweetened yogurts. I'm looking for, I'm opting for like Greek yogurt. So if there's a, you'll find here, uh, yogurt, chocolate. Nope. I'm looking for just Greek yogurt, yogurt, Yavani. Uh, I'm sure it's here. Uh, you'll find, you know, 0% or 0 0.9. So remember, it's 3% for um, yogurt and limon. Uh, it's 3% for solids and 1.5 for liquids. Um, so yogurt's a good one, a good one to go for. In terms of salatim, no, let's. I guess we'll just do it, continue with this sequence. So in terms of uh, fish and in terms of meat. So basically, the best one is turkey and sliced turkey breast is um the best deli meat and that's fortunately easy to find so you'll find lots of options there um in terms of like fresh fish so basically haddock cod place those white fishes are very low in fat um and sms sardine mackerel and salmon those are fattier fish so the low fat diet as i've been told to do it and as i think it is for all people it doesn't mean it's it, animal fats vegetarian fats healthy fats supposedly healthy fats suppose it's just fats full stop so um even though like those salmons are like high in omega-3s they're not things i'm eating basically uh so let's see what else we have here on offer um there's a lot of false friends in the worlds of um in the worlds of of low fat eating stuff you think is healthy or it says it's reduced in fat but it's not actually low fat so mayonnaise is a great example because you'll have stuff that says light mayonnaise and you look at the nutritional label and that's which is why that's vital and it's like 35 percent so if you take this category what you mentioned here was uh which is frozen meat sub meat substitutes so you know stuff like schnitzel is made from plants that kind of thing let's just take this one schnitzel tiras you might think, oh, that sounds like really healthy uh, corn schnitzels. Um, and my question would be, is there, is there actually much protein in this thing? 6.7% protein is not very high. And 6.7 uh, fat per, sorry, per 100, we are actually for fat at 6. So it's 6% fat. So it's double the limit. So again, um, it's not necessarily that, uh, you know, everything vegan or vegetarian or supposedly healthy is actually low fat um anything that can add flavor without adding fat is is good so stuff like spices are great lemon is great uh unfortunately olives are clearly out because they're very high in fat 
um pasta is great uh, and then grains and legumes so stuff like uh, chickpeas and lentils and uh you know wheat and stuff like that is, is all is all good stuff um and i think that's mostly what i buy at the supermarket so um oh in terms of the breakfast aisle so the best ones are like bran flakes muesli and granola and granola i would also put in the category of um health foods that are not low fat because they're the nuts really add up the fat content so stuff like bran flakes is what i'm going for for breakfast so bran flakes and skim milk and um yeah i think this is really it. i mean there's so many little like subsections here to go into but those would be like the main things at the moment oh and of course um spray oil would be would be uh, essential as well at, at the moment